Here we are at target 1B. We're trying to find the area for the following image. Uh, and just looking at our image, we notice that we do have a parallelogram here. And what we can go ahead and do is maybe try and break this up and find individual areas uh, by themselves. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is maybe break this up right down this middle. And when we do that, we notice that we do end up with two particular triangles here. So for right now, we'll call this triangle one and then this guy triangle two. Now with this triangle one, just focusing on him for a moment, the base for this triangle one comes out to be one because again, it's just one unit. And the height is also one. So again, this triangle right here on the left has a base of one and a height of one. Now the area equation for a triangle, we'll label this triangle one, is always one half times the base times the height. And luckily now we know what our base and our height are. It is one to the base. So we have one half times, instead of B we throw in our base here of one times our height. Here is our height being one. So then this should give us an area of one half times one times one gives us a total area of one half. So again, that would just be for this left side triangle label number one. Next, what we're gonna go ahead and do is move on to our second triangle. We'll call this triangle two. And the area for that as well, again, it's an area of a triangle, is one half times our base times our height. So our base here, uh, if we pretty much just flip flopped the way that this triangle looks, we can consider this as the base. We have a base of one and a height of also one. And as a result, pretty much all we have to do is throw our items in there for B and H. So we have one half times, instead of B, here he is, one times our height. There he is, the height for this triangle, one. And as a result, one half times one times one gives us one half. Then the total combined area for this entire parallelogram is pretty much where we would just have to take both triangles, both the blue and the red, and combine them together. So we would just add these two together and get a total area of one. So that would be our final solution. Again, though, that is target one. B.